Joining us now to talk about the Rotary Club of West Bloomfield Speaker Series Breakfast is a speaker for this month's breakfast, Rochelle Riley, Director of Arts and Culture for the City of Detroit. Rochelle, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. So Rochelle, can you start off by telling us a little bit about your background and what it means to be the Director of Arts and Culture for the City of Detroit? Oh my goodness, I spent uh, many years as a journalist, the last uh, 19 of my career as a nationally syndicated columnist for the Detroit Free Press. And when I decided to leave the newsroom, not retire, because I'm too young to retire, but to see what my pivot would be, I talked with the mayor of Detroit, who I've known for almost two decades, and said, I'm leaving the newsroom. I want to find a theater and, and uh, literally create you know, a theater. I'll take a theater management, get a theater management master's at Wayne State, and I'll do that. All he heard was the, the word theater, and we started talking uh, from that point on about the need for the city to be more engaged in helping its creative workforce. So that is the job. I oversee the city's investment in the arts. I nurture artists. I, um, I, I am their ace downtown. <laughs> And Rochelle, you will be speaking at the upcoming Rotary Club of West Bloomfield Speaker Series Breakfast coming up this month. Can you tell us a little bit about what you will be speaking about there? Well, it only has to do with art peripherally because it mostly comes from my work as an author because in addition to my, uh, my day job, which is kind of my side hustle, as a friend once told me, make sure that your main job is what you love to do. And for me, I've been a writer by trade, warrior by necessity for a long time. I wrote a book called The Burden, African Americans and the Enduring Impact of Slavery. And I have spoken out around the country about um, how we're never going to fix the racial divide that we have until we actually admit that it has been a part of the DNA of our country for some time. So uh, this is actually a conversation I was invited to have uh, about race. What are you afraid of? Why do we not want to talk about it? Why do we not want to deal with it so that we can improve so much of the relationships that exist between the races and all cultures in America? And Rochelle, could you talk a little bit about the, um, the topic of racism in America and how you are going to be bringing that to the speaker series breakfast that we are having for the Rotary Club of West Bloomfield and talk about a little bit of the um, themes that you'll be talking about as well as some of the impact that you hope to make at the breakfast. Well, the, the main thing that, that we hope to cover, the main thing that we hope to do is have a conversation because, you know, people have been talking at each other literally for over a century about these issues that arise from the fact that our country was founded on racism. It was founded on slavery. It was founded on uh, a, a free job labor, free labor that built the country. And so nobody wants to talk about that, their efforts to hide the history of that. And that's why we never have really open, honest discussions. So what we're gonna do is talk about what racism looks like. Um, for anybody who is not black or Hispanic or a person of color who says, oh, well, racism is, isn't a problem anymore. Well, it's not a racist problem for them. But if you can't even see it, then you don't understand why George Floyd was killed. You don't understand why people who are of color still have trouble getting loans from banks. You don't understand how hard it is for people to become uh, successful in some of the careers that they have. And, and the main thing we want to do is just talk about that understanding and push the envelope a little bit on that understanding. And Rochelle, what does it mean to be able to be speaking at the Rotary Club breakfast and be asked to present um, on your great book and the experience that you have with um, art and racism in the city of Detroit? Well, I have been a fan of Rotary for decades. As a matter of fact, I've spoken to so many different Rotary clubs. I should put them on a map. I have a map in my home of all the different places I've visited in America and around the country. There are 28 countries, 33 states. I should put Rotaries too, because when I'm called on for the Rotary or any library, because this is also the Ann Arbor District Library that's co-sponsoring this, uh, I'm a library person. I was a library page when I was in high school. That was my first job. And um, I, I think that the way we get to understand each other is to understand our cultures and to have those conversations. So it means the world to me, first of all, that people wanna have them, to be invited by the Rotary is such an honor. And uh, it, it means that people care. It means that we, we have folks literally on both sides of this racial divide in our country who want to talk about it and who want things to be better. And Rochelle, could you give us some information um, for our viewers that are interested in purchasing and reading your book, how they can go about doing that um, and getting a little bit more information on the talk that you'll be doing at the Speaker Series Breakfast for the Rotary. 
Thank you so much. The conversation is a breakfast conversation, which means it's going to start early. I think it's 7 or 7.30. And if they go to the district library site or the West Bloomfield Rotary, they can get details of that. If they want to know anything about me or my books, they can go to RochelleRiley.com. I encourage people to follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter feed sometimes has smoke rising from it, but you'll have a lot of fun. Um, but April 28th, it's a breakfast. It's going to be uh, it's going to be enlightening. It's going to be powerful. And I'm thrilled to talk with people instead of talk at people about something that we can fix. And Rochelle, as we wrap up here, is there anything else that you want to share with our viewers here, either about the work that you're doing for the city of Detroit or anything else that you want to share at this time? Well, the city of Detroit did not have an Office of Arts and Culture for almost 20 years when the mayor gave me this job. So one of the things that I'm doing is making sure that that's never true again. So we're looking for ways to make sure that we sustain it and turn it into something permanent so it can be a permanent supporter and lobbyist for artists, that it can be a way to develop uh, you know, neighborhood transformation through the arts. And I want everybody to be proud of what Detroit is. We're known globally for our creative arts. I mean, literally everywhere around the world. But I don't think we really believe it. We're not really embracing who we are. And I want to build that pride. Because even though the city government, you know, bakes the bread and created this office, it takes everybody to keep it buttered. So I want people to really just support and, and, and love on our, our creative arts community because it really is nationally renowned. Well, Rochelle, it was such a pleasure talking to you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us all that great information on the things that you are doing in the city of Detroit, as well as the Rotary Club um, Speaker Series Breakfast that you will be participating in. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was great to talk to you. Good interview. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.